I put Silesia in Football Manager. What is Silesia? Silesia is a historical region most noted for its mining and industry. Located mostly in southwest Poland, but also northeast Czech Republic and southeast Germany, it has produced some world-class talent the likes of Mikhail Balik, Lukas Podolski, and Miroslav Klosa. More recently has produced Polish nationals the level of Piotr Zielinski, Arkadiusz Milik, and Kamil Glick. Long considered the hotbed of Polish football, I wanted to carve this piece of land out and turn it into its own nation. A national team full of talent and ready to compete at the highest level right away. As we try to establish Silesia as the premier footballing nation, not just in Central Europe, but all of Europe and beyond. After hours of fidgeting with the pregame editor and creating the league structure for Silesia, I also created a league pyramid formed from the clubs of the region for a long-term build-a-nation save. Starting from the bottom, working our way up the coefficients, the save began. I took over the national team despite being a Sunday league manager with no coaching badges because, well, it's my save. The first test of Silesia's strength would be in the Euro 2024 qualifiers, where they entered a group with Denmark, Slovenia, Finland, Northern Ireland, and San Marino. The first game of young Silesia's international career kicked off in a packed stadium in Wrocław, the new capital of Silesia. We took on Slovenia. and got off to a flying start as young winger Adam Hlozek cut inside and took a shot that careened off Arkadiusz Schmilik as Silesia scored its first ever goal. It took all of one minute and 57 seconds. In the second half, center back Lukas Heda would score off a corner kick and put Silesia up 2-0. Slovenia pulled one back less than 10 minutes later from their own corner kick. Before Piotr Zelensky curled a beautiful shot in the 78th minute. To seal the first ever Silesia victory. Things were looking bright and rosy for Silesia after their first win. But next up was their very first away test in the most difficult tie of the qualification cycle against Denmark. Two first half goals from the Danes put Silesia down early and made us chase the game. We gave up two more goals in the second half before grabbing a late consolation goal to end the contest four to one. Silesia had proven it could compete, but just maybe they weren't ready for a cold, rainy night in Copenhagen. Things went from bad to worse as it was uncovered that the FM database isn't infallible. Two players were both incorrectly listed as being born in Silesia. Adam Holovacek and Vaclav Yamelka have been now deemed ineligible for Silesia. They will be immediately reinstated as Czech players. As a damage control act, we decided to use the in-game editor and swap the players back to Czech internationals immediately to avoid any points deductions. Since they were both starters on the left side, as head coach, I decided to use this as fuel for the next match against Northern Ireland. We lost Adam Hlozek on the left wing, our best left winger. We lost Vaclav Yamelka, our <laughs> best left wing back. So where are we weak? We're weak on the left. That's what they think. We're going strong on the left. Zelensky, you're our best player. You're going on the left wing, wide playmaker on attack. Kivior, you're moving over to the left wing back position. The tactic worked brilliantly as Kivior played a ball to Zelensky, who hit a one-time cross that was scored by the head of Christoph Piatek in the fourth minute. Northern Ireland had a chance to tie the game up late.
but the shot went over the crossbar and Celestia went on to win the game 1-0. The next game was another away test against Finland, who had just shocked the group by beating Denmark 3-2. Celestia got off to an early lead with a penalty before conceding back one goal, then two, then a third. Finland opened the door for a comeback, however, as Sali Weissenen got sent off, putting Finland down to 10 men. Celestia fought back with a deflected shot from Lukas Heda, then tied the game with the goal from Piotr Zielinski. The chance was there to grab the late winner, but the header from Arkady Ishmilik went just wide. The final score, 3-3. All right, till next time. And why does it feel like a sauna in here? The next international window saw Silesia easily grab their first away win against San Marino. And Langer down the left wing. Hits a cross in. San Marino goalkeeper hits it out to the edge of the box. It's Haida! 1-0 Silesia, sixth minute. Langer down the right wing now, crosses it in, finds the head of Milik, headed down and in 2-0. Zelensky through Ostrak. Ends up at the feet of Piatic, and now to Milik, 3-0. Pass out to Linker. Oh, Crescatini's already on a yellow. Yep, that's it. He's off, second yellow. San Marino down to 10 men. To Zelensky from the six-yard box. It's Zelensky. It's 4-0, Silesia. Headed up in the air. And it's Heda again for his second. It's 5-0, Silesia. Milik from the penalty spot, 6-0. And it's Stronati, 7-0 is the final score here. The real test came when Celesi attempted to avenge their only loss thus far, welcoming top of the table Denmark to Stadion Slosky in Hortsov, Silesia. Denmark looked confident as they got up to an early lead. Celestia would not be denied, however, as Piotr Zielinski took an excellent shot from 25 yards out that beat Kasper Schmeichel. In the second half, Celestia were flying and got their rewards in the 52nd minute with the cross from Linger that found the foot of Arkadia Schmilik for a tap-in. Silesia looked in control the remainder of the way, and they got their revenge, beating Denmark 2-1 and moving to the top of the table. Each team outside San Marino looked a contender, but we seemed to carry a curse with us after each Denmark game because bad news kept flooding in in the build-up to the next two crucial games. Injuries to starters Camille Grabara, Piotr Zielinski, Christoph Piatek, and Jakub Kaminski were going to keep them out for at least the next two games. Those two games were away to Northern Ireland and away to Slovenia. Silesia had already struggled on the road and things went as expected as Northern Ireland got the win 1-0 and Slovenia got the win 3-1. Celestia dropped a third in the table, and things couldn't be tighter heading into the final two rounds of the qualifiers. It all came down to Game 9, at home, against Finland. A win would propel Silesia up into the top two qualification spots. A loss would certainly see them fail to qualify, and a draw would require extra help. Everything was riding on this game.
Silesia came out with the early fire they so often showed at home, grabbing an early 1-0 lead with the header from Piatek. It was a scrappy game from there on, where Finland almost scored, but were somehow held out. Silesia managed to extend their lead when a defended corner ended up at the feet of Andre Linger, who curled in from the edge of the box, putting Silesia up 2-0. The tension was building and Silesia could smell qualification as things were made that much harder when Timu Puki found space inside the box for a poacher's goal that made the score 2-1. Celestia had to close the game out and they had 20 minutes to do so. Finland had a few chances, none better than a free kick at the edge of the box just on full time. But the wall did their job and the follow-up shot was sent over. Celestia managed the much needed win and moved into a coveted qualification spot. All they needed to do was to get a result against San Marino at home, and they would be in their first ever major tournament. Could San Marino really be the team to deny the dream of making Euro 2024? No, they couldn't. Celestia partied all day and won 6 0, officially qualifying for the Euros. It's been a dream run, and now they have a big international tournament to look forward to. Looking at the qualification groups, you might notice that both England and Spain failed to directly qualify. They ended up playing each other in the playoff, which means Spain did not make the Euros. The draw wasn't very kind to us, however, as we've been drawn in a group with Italy, Denmark, and Norway. I'll be streaming the build-up to and full tournament live on Twitch, so come watch on Wednesday, February 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The stream will start with squad selection and end when Celestia get knocked out. That is, of course, if we don't win at all. We've been made 250 to 1 odds, but who knows, maybe we'll pull a Greece 2004. Please hit like, hit subscribe, follow the link on Twitch, but most importantly, thanks so much for watching. If you're not watching, well, you must not be Silesian. 96.2 Radio Silesia. Enjoy yourselves out there. Enjoy the game.